I'm really excited to um, to get going. We've um, done all the pre-season test days that we can, all the, the training and preparation here in Bristol. I can't wait. I can't wait to get going. I feel ready for it and uh, ready for the new challenge. Talk us through how different it is going to be this weekend, because it is a slightly different format to what you're used to. Yeah, it's it's um, Porsche Carrera Cup. There's going to be 30 cars, I think, so it's, it's more than perhaps I'm used to. But um, especially in England, you know, the circuits are quite small. Uh, Brands Hatch is only, I think, one and a half or two miles long compared to some of the other circuits that are twice as long in Europe. So the traffic is going to be a big contender, you know, making sure we get the lap out on, on the Friday and the, on the Saturday qualifying so it doesn't hamper our position for the races. But it's all things that I'm going to have to learn as I go through. Um, it's all relatively new, as you say. I mean, I've been racing so many years now, so I understand what it is um, that a race weekend, uh, the format of a race weekend. So I'm looking forward to that and um, we'll see how we go. You talk about the traffic and the greater number of cars that you're going to be racing against. How much more tricky does it make it to, to have a clean weekend, shall we say? It does. It's, it is a bit of a, a lottery. It's going to be a lottery at times. And that's the consensus because we have got there's more, that's the biggest grid they've ever had in Porsche Carrera Cup. And um, you know, qualifying, I could say, there's only four corners at Brands Hatch this weekend. So it can be very easy to get blocked, um, especially by some of the Pro-Am 2 guys, some of the Pro-Am 1s who are, who are a mix of you know, professional and amateur, whereas the pros at the front is what we're in. We're going to be pushing, obviously, every lap really hard to get that lap out. So it's going to be a case of just kind of seeing how we go, making sure we have a clean run, because um, we obviously we don't want to get blocked and, and hamper our chances. But it's, it's the same for everybody, and um, all I can do is do my very best on the circuit. We've done all the pre uh, preparation and training we can, so those sorts of things you can't really sort of prepare for, but we'll do our best. We talk about preparation. You've got a number of new tracks to learn, not least the fact that most of them are in Britain, one over in Spa. What's out of all of the tracks that you've raced on and learned so far, what one are you looking forward to most over this coming season? Well, I think the, the thing to mention is that all these circuits are, are actually new with the Porsche Carrera Cup, you know, and that in itself is it's like re relearning the circuit because uh, I know most of the circuits from single seater racing, my um, eight years or seven years in single seaters, um, but that's a completely different ball game. So it's kind of going to these circuits and I have to reapply myself. So uh, that's a new challenge in itself. But um, I think Spa Francorchamps last year in GP3 uh, claimed second place uh, podium. So I'm really looking forward to going back there. It's, it's a beautiful circuit, seven and a half kilometers long, I think. So it's huge. Um, so in a Porsche, I can only imagine it be uh, a lot of fun. And that's one of the World Endurance Cup support races as well, so it should be a huge weekend. Yeah, and obviously a good opportunity to, to showcase um, uh, you know, what we can do on that level. You know, that's, uh, well, the World Endurance Championship is one of our aims. You know, it's where Mark Webb is racing with Porsche, um, and it's, it's in front of a lot of people. So um, again, it's always to go out there and impress uh, and always uh, do our very best. That's the aim. But for, for round one, which is what we're focusing on now at Brands Hatch this weekend, the aim is to go and win. You mentioned Mark Webber there, uh, obviously forming a part of your pre-season testing. You met up with him at Silverstone. How has testing gone? Good. I mean, uh, th that was part of a training exercise with Porsche, and that went very, very nicely. And uh, you know, physical air preparation in the car is obviously is key to, to this year. And I feel like I'm, you know, uh, fit and at a really strong level, more than I've ever been. So that's really important. Pre-season testing with Palm Motorsport as well. That's been going really well. Inside the car is. Um, has been going you know, nicely and, and it takes time obviously to get used to, to the different environment, to the different car, the brakes, the accelerator, everything's got a different sort of uh, feel to it than what I'm used to. Um, but that's part of being a racing driver, you're, you're there to adapt and to learn. And uh, we've taken all, I, we've, I've certainly taken all the emotion out of uh, my driving and just kind of delivering, processing and, and, and understanding really. So we'll, we'll look to put that all into practice this weekend uh, at Brands Hatch on Friday, the first few practice. Just finally, what will you count as a success? this weekend well obviously as a racing driver you go to win and um, my aim is always be to to go and win and um, we're going for the win that's as simple as that but we, we more than anything I think we want to just keep learning keep progressing because this this first weekend it can't be won the championship can't be won in this week in this first weekend but it cannot it can be very much lost so we're looking for consistency we're looking for results and obviously for me personal from my ambitious point of view I'm looking for those two wins well, best of luck this weekend thank you